All right, this video, I'm gonna introduce you to a little experiment that I'm gonna be doing this year. This is a 55 gallon drum of hydroponic solution with a single cucumber plant planted in the top. Now that plant will use up the, the entirety of this 55 gallons of solution in a growing season. You set this up and there is zero maintenance to it. Unless we get some cucumber beetles, I'll dust it for cucumber beetles. That happened to me last year. That was it. You set it up in the springtime and forget it. You pick cucumbers and by the end of the growing season, it's used up the solution. You tear the system apart and you're getting ready for fall. It, it could not be any simpler way to grow a vegetable. Now, this is known as the Kratke method. It's a non-circulating hydroponic setup. Dr. Kratke has a YouTube channel. It's called Grow Kratke. He is, his channel used to be called Dekine Approaches. And he discusses all sorts of ways to do non-circulating, you know, no power needed um, hydroponics. He wants to get hydroponics out to the world, to places, you know, remote villages that don't have power, or, you know, if you don't want to, I just don't want to spend the money on uh, electric pumps and stuff. So. Um, so anyhow, this is known as the Kratke method. Now, Dr. Kratke has published, uh, he published this exact sort of setup in a paper some years ago. And in that paper, he discussed growing the cucumber in the barrel. He also discussed growing tomatoes, but he discussed those tomatoes being grown in shallower containers. Now I've watched, I don't know if I've seen all his videos, but probably, I've, I've probably seen all his videos. And I've never seen him try to grow a tomato in one of these deep barrels. And I can't find anybody else that's doing it. So because of that, I'm, I'm assuming that a tomato won't do well in a barrel setup like this. But I can't think why. Would a tomato not grow roots deep enough? Is the, is the tomato plant not capable of throwing roots deep enough to use up that barrel? Or does a tomato plant need more uh, more water or more hydroponic solution in a growing season. I mean, to make tomatoes, a very thirsty plant, but so is a cucumber plant. So I can't figure out exactly why it won't work, but because he's never shown it and I can't find anybody else that's doing it, I'm guessing it won't work, but I hate to just guess. I'd rather just go ahead and I guess I'm going to have to try it for myself. So that's what I did. So I put a 55 gallon drum together last night with a single plant. I got that plant for my parents. They have a greenhouse. Um, so that plant was just put in there last night. So it has been growing up to this point in a flat, a 36 count cell pack flat, you know, typical what you see at the garden stores. Now I'm hoping that that, that setup will work, but I'm thinking, well, maybe a tomato doesn't use as much um, hydroponic solution in a season. So maybe I'll try a smaller container. So I've got a 35 gallon, same thing. I picked an, another tomato plant from the greenhouse. I'm putting them in these, uh, I made, I make these out of, I don't know if that's inch and a half PVC, you heat it up and you can form it. And when it cools, you know, it takes the shape of whatever you formed it to. So you fill up the barrel until your PVC container is just in the water, just the base of that plant's roots are in that water. So I put these together last night and you can see sort of how big and, and good looking those plants are. Now today is kind of windy and I'm sure you just saw that plant moving around. Maybe that's a reason that tomatoes wouldn't do well in this, in this sort of setup. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the cucumber plant, it throws vine down and it'll, it'll crawl across the concrete here. So maybe that sort of helps stabilize it. And that's why you can get away with doing cucumbers that way. And maybe with the tomato, I don't know. I think once the bush gets going, the tomatoes will bush out and they will crawl all the way across these wicking tubs. And I would think that would stabilize it. So we're going to find out. Um, uh, this is probably going to be a failure, but, <clears throat> you know, barrels are not that expensive and hydroponic solution is pretty cheap. And if the plant dies, I can make use of the hydroponic solution in my wicking tubs. I know these do great to grow tomatoes, but these are just sort of high maintenance. You know, 
when they're little like this, I'll probably only water that tub or both the tubs maybe every, I don't know, two, three days, something like that, three, four days, you can get away with, depend on humidity and, you know, photosynthesis, sunlight, all that good stuff. You got to water them about every three or four days. That thing, again, once you set it up in the spring, you don't touch it. So I'm hoping that this would work and I could set up, you know, if I had to do, I got five plants there, I would rather do five barrels like that and not have to maintain them at all. So we're going to see how this goes. I will keep you guys updated. Um, leave me a comment, uh, any questions you've got, and I'll try to answer anything I can. Um, go ahead and click the subscribe button, and I will you know, post updates as things occur. I hope I helped you with this one. If you are interested in this, click the like button. Until the next time, keep on tinkering.